सुभाष भामरे ऑनरेबल राज्य रक्षा मंत्री जनरल बिपिन रावत चीफ ऑफ आर्मी स्टाफ चेयरमैन एसकोचैम कैप्टन ऑफ इंडियन इंडस्ट्रीज रिप्रेजेंटेटिव फ्रॉम द ग्लोबल डिफेंस इंडस्ट्रीज कन्वीनर्स एंड ऑर्गेनाइजर्स ऑफ दिस सेमिनार डिस्टिंग इन्वाइटीज स्पीकर्स डेलीगेट्स फ्रेंड्स फ्रॉम द मीडिया लेडीज एंड जेंटमैन अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू इट्स एन ऑर एंड प्रिवलेज फॉर मी to deliver the keynote address at the 9th SOCHM International Conference on Aerospace and Defence at the outset i'd like to thank the association of chambers of commerce and indian in industry of india for giving me this opportunity to share my thoughts i would also like to compliment SOCHM india for the active role in promoting the indian defence industry I am sure that this platform will provide ideal opportunities for meaningful discussions towards charting the way ahead for bolstering make in India in the defence sector and help formulate an incisive strategy for achieving self-reliance in the defence sector. It's a matter of great pride for the Indian Navy that we started our quest of self-reliance and indigenisation soon after independence. Since then, shipbuilding industry in the country has come of age, and has built state-of-the-art stealth frigates, corvettes, and destroyers. The Indian naval ships, designed in India, constructed in Indian shipyards, have carried the Indian tricolour across the ocean. I remember when I commanded Mumbai destroyer, made in India, and we went overseas. for the international free review in uk people were surprised that india could build ships of that size and quality and capability the navy is indeed proud of the fact that all 33 platforms ranging from submarines to aircraft carriers which are currently order are being built by indian shipyards in fact our last induction ins kiltan the third of the project 28 anti submarine warfare corvette commissioned in october last year had an indigenous content of about 90% it's been our endeavor to progressively increase the indigenous content in every ship that we construct from building the first leander class frigate way back in 1972 today the indian navy prides itself as one of the few navies in the world which has its own ship design capability that is ably supported by indigenous ship building a partnership with drdo as well as with public and private enterprises have resulted in many successes in a number of field which include electronic warfare suits communication systems advanced underwater systems and sensors combat management systems radar and metallurgy we have been relentless in pursuing indigenization and the make in india remains an article of faith for the indian navy ladies and gentlemen while we focus on indigenization i must acknowledge the valuable contribution of our overseas partners the oems continued support is indeed valuable to us i am of the firm belief that self reliance is the only mantra for strategic autonomy having said that the path to self reliance and defense needs to be charted meticulously in order to give further boost to our indigenous capability the indian navy has outlined an indigenization plan which has been shared with the industry and is also available online it is our endeavor to encourage both public and private sector to contribute towards progressive increasing the indigenous content in all future ships to as close as 200% as it can be under the make in india indigenous development of high end technology their translation into defense hardware induction into the service and standardization is no mean task it goes without saying that this process will require many challenges to be overcome not only by designers and manufacturers but also in the procurement process I am pleased to note that the objective of Ashram Conference this year is to provide simplification to the defence procurement process towards implementation of strategic partnership policy and bolstering Make in India. I'd like to take this opportunity 
to briefly outline the four primary expectations that we have with respect to platforms, systems, and equipment that we seek to induct. Firstly, the importance of completing development projects and delivering products in good time needs no explanation. Second factor is cost. After all, the factor of cost and delivery timelines would figure high to any customer. The third factor is quality and performance. The combatant must have unflinching faith that the equipment will deliver whenever the need arises to its design parameters. The fourth expectation is life cycle sustenance. Naval platforms and large platforms in the Army and the Air Force are expected to be in service for a considerable length of time. It is over this prolonged period that the weapons, sensors and equipment fitted are expected to perform or rather outperform the enemy's capability. Therefore, it is critical to have a robust maintenance, repair, overall plan throughout its life cycle. Ladies and gentlemen, I am confident that this conference will provide a forum for discussion and exchange of ideas to strengthen Make in India in the defense sector. I wish everybody fruitful and positive deliberation. Shannavarun, Jain, and thank you very much.